The people think about her is y'all raggedy ass bitches that sit and mention her all day. Cause nobody's not thinking about her. Like I said, that bitch might as well go and lay down as well. Again, nobody's thinking about her, boo. Okay? We got our own stuff going on and we blessed and highly favored over here. Ain't nobody miserable or nothing, nothing like that. We just a little sad, but we good. So all that hot about a relevant bitch seeking, seeking to tell me shit about what to do and what not to do. Y'all better tell her stay out of the clear view. That'll be fine for them because I'm not pressed about none of that. Like I said, my family is great. So we had a great time yesterday. We're going to have a great time today. Yeah, they gotta stop advertising her. I don't advertise no bitch. Y'all gotta stop bringing bitches up. Cause I don't advertise no bum ass bitch. And I slap the shit out of any one of y'all. Truth be told. So don't say shit to me. Like I said, my family is enjoying ourselves. We having a great time. My daddy left in peace with a smile on his face. And he had done seen his kids and all the things that he wanted to see. So he was good and ready to go. Once again... Ain't nobody impressed about no irrelevant bitch that y'all worry about. So we don't want to hear. We don't care about no video. We don't care about what they said. We don't want to hear. Stay out of clear view, boo. Period. Point blank, period. Everybody over here is full of positivity and we great. We great. We actually gooder. All us siblings sat around each other and enjoyed each other yesterday. That's how life works. Nobody not in misery and all that going through it. Bitch better go try to feed they churn and all that and go chase the behind the man. They main post instead of trying to get a man. Like, the fuck? Nobody not think about that bullshit about no motherfucking bitch. We enjoying ourselves. We had a great time. We're going to do the same thing today. And we're going to have a lovely funeral. And he's going to lay to rest in peace because he was at peace when he left. He had done seen all his kids he loved. All his kids he loved, he had not seen them. So, sorry. We good. Laid down with a lovely smile on his face, boo. He was smiling. Uh-huh. That's why they should have came and told y'all. He was laying in peace. He was smiling. Yeah. And I had done spent time with him and got closure and all that when I was there. I already knew what time was it was was going on, so I got um, mentally prepared. Mm hmm. I got mentally prepared, so I'm not overly stressed. Of course, I'm hurt because it's my father, and that's somebody that genuinely loved me unconditionally for real. So nobody's left here to do that. So of course, I'm a little down, but I'm actually at peace. I'm happy. I've been through several deaths in my life. People always die. You gotta be prepared for deaths. So I'm not in misery. Definitely sad. Definitely going in and out of crying and things of that nature. But I'm not in misery. So any bitch that think they getting hype off us being sad, may God bless you. Because bitch, you got some personal issues that you gotta dig up with the Lord, ho. And you gonna rot in the casket on your own time for that. Not nobody over here. We not dwelling in sorrow and upset because we ain't never get love and all that. That's not what we doing. We greeting on all the good moments we shared with our daddy. Yeah, we had so many good moments with our daddy. And if you know me, I was everywhere with my daddy. That was like my best friend. Rather y'all believe it or not. He knew all my business and I knew all of his. And he did not ever judge me or misclaim me or disclaim me or mistreat me. My daddy was actually my friend. You bitches don't even have daddies. So y'all wouldn't understand. Nobody ain't never loved y'all, so y'all will not understand. So I get it. Why you bitches run around here so motherfucking mad trying to make a scene about nothing. Making a scene about people that who don't give a fuck about you. Because you never had love from nobody. So you miserable as fuck. We actually happy crying over a sad, a sad situation of a man that we actually love, that loved us back, that's left this world. But he actually died in peace and left in a great place. And when we all enjoyed each other, my family, we all stood together like we was back in the days and my grandma was alive. That's what my family has been doing. Sticking together like my grandma here. So that was the moral of the story. I appreciate you outsiders that came through to um, show us love, drop things off, brought food, came in, um, be, was nice and respectful and enjoyed us and loved on us. We definitely appreciate it. We need so much more of that, y'all. If we know y'all in Tampa and y'all know my daddy, on that note, we would definitely be back at my grandma's house doing the same thing, okay? 
We don't got nothing but love going on. So unfortunately, bitches is miserable and mad, and that's more so of the scene that y'all like to entertain. But we blessed and highly favored over here, and we don't need nothing from nobody, actually. My family good. We not a broke group of bums. My uncle got it, I got it, my sister got it, we all got it. So we straight. We don't need nothing but hugs and kisses and wishing us well. That's it. A miserable bitch is unentertained. They gotta go finish trying to pray for love where they never got it from, where they ain't gonna never get it from. Like that right there. Just so y'all can be updated. We're great. Yeah. It wasn't no arguments. It wasn't no fighting. It wasn't no nothing. We had everything afloat. Food, drinks, ice, liquor, weed, and we all enjoyed each other. It wasn't no disrespect and no nothing going on. We all enjoyed each other, baby. So when y'all want to talk, talk about that. Talk about how you bitches are uninvited. Talk about how you bitches will never be loved by nobody. And we enjoying ourselves and we good. And talk about if anyone else see you bitch, we gonna stump a mud hole in you bitch. Nobody don't give a fuck about all that. I actually will go to jail about that situation and get out and I'll be fine. It's alright. You ain't gotta tell me nothing. My mind already made up. So stay out of clean eyesight, bitch, and you will be good. For your motherfucking mouth. Because anyone else is bound to beat your motherfucking ass. And that's for my mama. And she been dead since I was five. So I don't give a fuck. Boo. Peace, love, and blessings. What's good in the motherfucking hood, bitch? So I'm, I'm fine. And I appreciate y'all. To all the good people that mean well. Um, bitches like to catch you in moments like this to try to play on your, um, hurtness and stuff like that. Thinking they shaking tables by speaking and running stuff. First of all, bitches like me don't follow clowns. So I don't know, never know what a clown say. Okay? Yeah. So yeah, that's not my sister, clown ass bitch. And once again, don't talk to me and say nothing to me if you don't know shit, bitch. That's your sister. That ain't my sister. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So once again, we're blessed over here. We're good. <clears throat> like I said, the bitch is dead to me. It's y'all sister. Rather y'all like it or not. It's y'all sister because it ain't my sister. Baby. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Boo. Y'all go love on her. Go give her some love and take care of her motherfucking sure and get a man to love her, bitch. That's what you hoes do when y'all when y'all so worried. Go do that. Go find somebody to love that bitch. Cause don't nobody love her. My daddy, her mama, us, nobody don't. So go find somebody to love the bitch if y'all were looking for a task to do. Right. Fuck wrong with you hoes. <laughs> 